So our second type of plate boundary is called a convergent plate boundary. So we had divergent moving away. Now convergent is coming together, moving towards each other. So when two plates move towards each other, lots of different things can happen. One is earthquakes. This, this type of plate boundary causes lots of earthquakes and some of them can be pretty strong. Another common uh, formation from a convergent plate boundary is mountains. Actually, all mountains formed this way. So if we have two, if you look at this diagram, if we have two chunks of land, two continental plates, and they are pushing towards each other, well, there's not a whole lot of places that land can go except up. And that's how mountains are formed. Um, thirdly, volcanoes are commonly formed during this type of boundary, but it's usually when the ocean plate meets the continent plate. So an oceanic plate is low and heavy and small, and a continental plate is big and light and high. And so the oceanic plate will move underneath the continental plate, and then it'll melt, and then it'll form some magma, and it'll push up, and it'll form, it'll pop up the other side as a volcano. And that's what this diagram is showing you right here. So one famous example, well, there's two famous examples of these. Um, one is the Ring of Fire, which is a nickname that we give the place on Earth with the most volcanoes. And it happens to be in the shape of a ring. And the other is the Himalaya Mountains. And the Himalaya Mountains you can see forming right here in this GIF. Um, the Indian plate crashed into the Asian, the Eurasian plate, and it created some very tall mountains, the tallest mountains we have on Earth today. So let's see these examples on a map. All right, let's start with the ring of fire up here. So you see this red area? It's a, it's a very, very large ring. It starts at the bottom of South America, and it goes around the Pacific Ocean all the way to New Zealand. Now, it's not a perfect circle, I know that, but we call it the ring of fire because this area is where most of Earth's volcanoes are formed. And it's because the Pacific plate with the Pacific Ocean on it is pushing underneath all of this land and creating a lot of volcanoes. So here's a picture of some ring of fire volcanoes. There's tons of them. And the other example is the Himalaya Mountains. Um, here's again a map showing the, in, the continent of India, the Indian uh, plate pushing into the Eurasian plate, Europe and Asia. And you can see how it created some tall mountains, tall enough to have snow on them. These are the tallest mountains on Earth. Here's a, an actual picture from up above. Um, you can even kind of see a line of where the Indian plate hit the Eurasian plate. And here's what it would look like on the ground. This is the mountain range that includes Mount Everest, which is the tallest peak on Earth. And I do believe these mountains are continuing to grow taller even today. All right, and our third and final type of plate boundary is called transform plate boundaries. This is where two plates are sliding in the opposite direction. One's going this way, the other's going that way, and they are just passing by each other like this. And this results in pretty much just one thing, and that is earthquakes, some pretty strong earthquakes, actually. So there's one state in the United States that's most famous for earthquakes, and that is California. They have earthquakes pretty much daily, but small ones. Occasionally, they have a really strong earthquake, and that is because there is a fault line with a transform plate boundary. Um, in California, it's called the San Andreas Fault, and this is where it is. It's cutting across the bottom half of California. So that is the reason why California has many earthquakes. Um, here is a picture of the San Andreas Fault from up above. We can literally see the evidence of this motion. So if you can imagine over millions of years, there have been so many earthquakes, big and small, that it's kind of left a scar 
in the land. This is not a mountain range. This is an earthquake scar. So there you have it. So those are the three types of plate boundaries. Um, the next thing and the last thing on today's module, this is your grade for the day. This is an exit ticket testing your knowledge of the three types of plates, uh, excuse me, plate boundaries. So use your notes and let's try and get every one of them correct. If you need another chance because you're not happy with your score the first time, just message me and I'll give you a second chance at this exit ticket. Good luck and thanks for watching.